if you spot some green like this when you're up high, that means you're probably looking at rhododendron, okay? Especially in the winter time. It's an evergreen. And rhododendron can be a couple indicators for us. Since rhododendron likes to grow by water, it means that usually there's probably a stream or some type of still body of water nearby. Down here we can see that there's a little creek. Can't hear it, but there's a creek there. You can see right there, we have a little bit of water flow. So from looking up high, I can see this big patch of green that looks like it's running like a river. And what it does is indicates a highway out of here for me if I was lost. And this goes not just for here, it goes for all over the world. There's other plants like this, and this plant grows in other areas. So here we're taking a closer look, and we can see that this is nice and thick in here. That means it'll be easy for us to spot from a distance if we're up high, and what we're looking for mainly is water for a couple reasons. Uh, we may need water to drink. Well, this will help us find that. From a distance, we can see this and know that there's probably water nearby. Or, it would indicate a little highway out of here for us. Okay, rhododendron is toxic, so we can't use it medicinally. But we can use it to help us find water to drink or water to get out of here to a bigger river. Okay, but you can see that it's really thick. It's not ideal for traveling through. We need to continue to follow this creek to a larger body of water. However, it's foolish walking through this rhododendron as it'll just sap the energy out of you. So we need to find a better way. It's like walking through mangroves. Not ideal. Now we're out of that tangled mess down there. And we came up on top of this ridge line here. See how much flatter the ground is? We have much more open terrain here. It's a lot safer. We can see a lot further because we're up high. And we have a nice big green line to follow all the way out of here. So there's no need to, to walk through that and follow that little creek. When you can just walk a ridge line, get up a little bit higher, see a little bit more, and be a lot safer and expend a lot less calories walking through this here. Okay, we come up close to get a little bit of an ID of this plant, and we can see that it's, uh, it's quite easy to identify. The way these leaves are, the flowers are really easy to identify in the summer. Real waxy leaf, okay. Rhododendron is not edible or medicinal, but it is an indicator, okay, and that's what I call it. It's in the indicator family for me. And what that means is it just tells me some things. It tells me there's water. It tells me I found possibly a way out of here. But there's also one more thing that it tells me. You notice how the leaves are drooping down? Well, right now it's probably 40 degrees. Now what rhododendron does is it gets colder, these leaves begin to droop. Okay, it looks like they're wilting. All right, in the summertime, they're all out like this. Okay, and those, that's where the flower grows right there. All right, now in the winter though, when it gets colder, they begin to droop. And these things will completely close up. Okay, they will completely close up like this when it hits below freezing. This is rhododendron's way of defending against water loss. Now you might ask, well, what does that really matter? I should be able to tell if it's freezing anyways. Well, when you're out here long enough, 30 degrees may feel like 50. Your body begins to adapt to those temperatures and you may forget that your one metal container has now got frozen water in it and you just put a big crack in it. Well if you see these, these rhododendrons here and they're closed up you know that it's approaching freezing and you should probably find a way to insulate that bottle and seal it up so it doesn't freeze. Okay, sometimes it's important to know the temperature especially if you're staying out here and have to build a shelter. So there's a few little tips on rhododendron here, guys. Okay, I'll give you a little look at the bark. It's kind of a reddish color. Kind of, it's got little flakes on it. All right, you can see the bark's flaky. It's kind of reddish. All right, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look at rhododendron, because uh, a lot of people think of the toxic plants as useless, but this one here is far from it. It's actually quite useful. 
especially because of the fact it shows us where water is, which is what we need. In any bad situation, water is almost number one every time. And this here will point us to water to drink or to find a highway out of here. And it also lets us know, is it dipping below freezing? Do I need to do something with my metal container or my plastic container, whatever I got, if I have water in it and it freezes, it's going to break that container. Okay, so it's important to know if it's below freezing. You might not know it. You might be adapted to the cold. You know, me living in Michigan, I was a lot warmer living there than when I lived in Florida. When I went in the cold, it was brutal because my blood thinned out. So if your blood's thickened, you may not know that it's freezing out. This is a good way to tell temperature without a thermometer. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tip. Go out and test it. Find a day where it's freezing and if you know where some rhododendron is and check it out. I can promise you guys this. If you get stuck in a batch of rhododendron like this on this huge ridge here and then you look out here and it just goes. That's all rhododendron. It's not clear till right out there. If you get stuck having to walk through that, if you've ever been in mangroves, it's like that. It's a lot of rhododendron. Okay, that's tough going there, especially if you have gear.